Okay, Gemini, we're going to move forward with now. Gemini, how are you doing? Let's go ahead and do that again. Okay, Gemini. Gemini, what's up with you? I am going to reshuffle these cards here. Bear with me. All right, so we, Gemini, are using the sacred, the, the tarot of the sacred kingdoms. All the decks that I use are in the um, description box below. Also in the description box, I was guided to offer my um, energy sessions that I have been doing for years that attune your energy to the love, light, divinity that you naturally are so that you are connected to the... Um, creative energy of the field around you which is so important to gemini is being creative you cannot even deal with the idea of you not having a creative flow moving through your body it is very difficult for a gemini to think that there's nothing left to create or they're not capable or in tune with creation creative energies so if you're having a difficult time with that, then these energy sessions are definitely designed for you. They are extremely powerful to help you clear yourself out, balance yourself, and um, attune against that creativity. So starting off with the hanged man, this is where you break subconscious cycles. That's a very big place to start. Nine of pentacles so that you are in harmony and in love and aware, fully eyes wide open, calm, relaxed, peaceful, mind sharply turned on. Okay. So that it blesses your, you, what you're paying attention to through clarity and intention comes back to you. And nine of cups, king of wands. All right, so here we are. Okay, so we have king of wands at the beginning, at the bottom of the deck. The bottom. This is pleasure, joy, happiness. Mars is in. And this is Leo. Mars is in Leo right now. Action, action, action. Also, I believe that Mars is going retrograde in Leo. Is that true? Well, any, at any rate, you're assessing where you're taking action, and it also has to do with the entrepreneurial spirit. So, what are you creative? Bring, what are you creatively bringing forward into the collective? Okay, and you are retraining your story, your patterns, your underlying belief systems. You're retraining those to be attuned with precision of happiness, precision of love. Okay. And this is where you are emotionally attuned to everything that you desire for yourself. And you have it all. You receive, you, you, you feel like you have it all. And therefore you gain more of what you have, what you feel like you have. All right. So let's go ahead and go a little bit deeper here for you, because this looks really great for you. Um, Gemini doing really well this week, really well. Okay, please clarify the hanged man for us. Page of swords, four of swords. Now, the, page, the four of swords is reversed. So it's time for you to, go, to, to take the piece that you have been able to find inside of yourself. And be able to now move forward, go out into the world with it. It's not staying silent inside of yourself anymore. It's now taking the silence that you achieved from that and, and that balance you achieved and now go with it. And now we have the page of swords, which is about, this is your card. This is mutable um, information, flexible, usable information coming your way. And because you have a higher vantage point it's giving the information that's coming in helps you see things better okay that's 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 what's true here okay we have um we have the seven huh, the seven of cups the seven of swords and the three of wands to clarify the nine of pentacles 
Now, um, to remind you, the Nine of Pentacles is where this is peace, tranquility, sharpness of mind, clarity. Um, what I put, where I put my energy, I know I get back. I know that my life is what was rewarding me very well. Now, you have had to overcome um, some things about uh, some. Well, let's go a little bit further. Okay. All right, so we have, um, for the Nine of Cups, we have the Six of Pentacles, which is about you being able to open yourself up to receive more. And this, um, this Queen of Pentacles is about self-care, about self-care to... Now, with the th with the three of wands, three of wands is about you having a gold mine, being very very strategic in your plans on how you're going to take action moving forward. Now, what you had been contending with is the subconscious, all right? And the subconscious was about whether or not you can trust somebody or something or even yourself. Where you have felt like you had been taken advantage of, you no longer can play into that anymore. <coughs> Excuse me. I apologize. Excuse me. We have at the bottom of the deck justice. Okay. Justice is about karma. She is about commitment, what you're committing yourself to. She is about the truth. She knows what you really want, and she knows that it's time to make a commitment to solidify your alignment with what you truly desire and stop wasting your time on any thought patterns that are no longer, that no longer feel good. It's as simple as that, really. That's the, that's, these are both cards of subconscious, breaking subconscious patterning. Being very clear on what this is the de this is the detail of recognizing where you're putting your thoughts. Are your thoughts serving you, or are your thoughts hurting you and holding you back? And you have now this. You are going to affirm to yourself a commitment to no longer waste your brain power on scaring the heck out of yourself on things that could happen or reminding yourself of pain that has happened and how you can't trust people or maybe can't trust yourself or whatever that is. It's over. You're done. You're not playing this little game with yourself anymore. That pattern has now ended. Okay. You're breaking that cycle and you are now aligned with everything that you want and you're opening up yourself to be able to receive, to be able to receive more and more and more of what you desire your life to look like, more creative energy to move through you, through the self-care. Moment by moment, what is my mind doing? It's You're mastering your mind. You're mastering your mind and you're noticing the emotional and creative payoffs for it. Gemini, look at you go. So this is the entrepreneurial through something that is pleasurable and fun. This can also be a connection with another person that you're really, really enjoying, but probably both, probably both. I would say that the connections that you are making are very satisfying and very pleasurable and support your, your creativity. You're going to make something about, uh, you're going to create, you're going to be bringing your creativity out into the world and you feel very good about doing that. You're not, you're not hiding behind trauma anymore. Your, your trauma bonds no longer exist. The playing mental games with yourself that hurt you no longer exists. It's time for you now to take action. Get out there with the information that you want to bring into the world. And I want to see what that Page of Swords has to talk about. What is that Page of Swords about? Oh, shoot. Whew. Somehow you are going to get at a very enlightened moment, this clarity around <clears throat> how that cycle is over. 
over. It is done. Wrap it up. Put a bow on it. You're, you have learned everything you needed to from the last 20 years. And now you are a whole new version of yourself. And it is eminent, this new change of your life. And you are ready to start a new. What does your no, new life look like? Please. Truth, clarity, balance, trueness of character. Um, well, at first, it's like, how do I hold all this power inside of me? How do I hold all this power inside of me and just have fun with this transformation? Yep, it's by it's by standing behind what you want to build. It's by standing behind this. This is collaborative energy. So instead of fearing your connections with other people that you may have had in the, in the past where you have been skeptical, instead you are valuing the connections with other people. Okay. And you are, um, you have this, this boundary that's being set to where you are only going to put your energy towards people that are supportive of your new way of thinking. Um, uh, and, and supportive of what you're, what you're building. Okay. So yeah, it's, it's, um, this, this, um, this five of, of wands popped out and, and obviously hit the floor and it's reversed. So it's about the fight is over. You're not fighting with anybody anymore. You're not fighting within yourself anymore. You're now drawing a line that we're going to play nicely together. We're going to create something significant and lasting together. We're going to honor one another. You're not going to be skeptical of other people's intentions any longer. That's not serving you. That's not working for you. And you really have some significant things that you have been go that have been going on in here that you want to engage in creating. That's going to be very beneficial for your well-being and the well-being of other people. Okay. And it doesn't mean that you need to bring forward something that's all hallmarky. Okay. And so I'm saying, but. The fact that you, it, it feels very entertaining in nature, honestly, what you're wanting to bring out into the world is something that's very entertaining and, um, and you have a unique perspective. That's for sure. Gemini's, you are able to take something and another thing that have never before gone together, makes, bring them together and make something brand new and go, Whoa, I never saw, you know, like the first person that brought together like peanut butter and jelly. Right. I mean, obviously we know that that's normal now. But at one point it wasn't, you know, um, somebody who, what is it? All of these new flavors that are coming in, um, on the shelves from different products, right. Or even products that are coming together that have never been used before. You know, think about like the mop vac, right? So a vacuum and a mop together. Wait, what? Again, these are stupid, really stupid ideas. I'm just trying to get, a, get across the point here of things that people had not necessarily seen come together before. You have a knack for that. Okay. And it's very entertaining. The things that you bring together that um, are going to be really great for the world. Okay. Because you're having a lot of fun with this. You're having a lot of fun. So congratulations for ending that tormenting cycle that you had been through. Um, it probably lasted for a very long time. But you're done with the trauma inside of yourself and you're ready to just have fun creating the life that you want and bringing forward all of those unique ideas that you that you naturally have. So um, I'm really excited for you. This feels huge, a huge step forward for you, um, Gemini. And it feels like it's been long awaited, this long awaited reunion to yourself. So, um, I hope your feeling is in love with this, um, clarity that I feel for you right now. Um, if you're not feeling it now, you will be feeling it very, very shortly because it feels very clear, very optimistic, very free flowing, um, and, and very collaborative and entertaining in nature. So, um, congratulations. Um, I love you all source adores you and have fun creating, have fun. I'm excited to see what you guys are bringing forward. Let me know if you would like to comment on it.